Hey everybody, I wanted to make this video because every once in a while I run into a huge latency issue inside Logic when using the session instruments. Now these session players, I've really come to appreciate the power and the nuance that they can create, even though I feel like there's a long way to go still with some of the chord track issues. I, I think that there's a lot of really promising things with these. Even other applications like Studio One, which has a far more sophisticated chord track, doesn't have what these instruments can do, and I'm hoping that we'll get more instruments in the future. What happens though, every once in a while, and I haven't been able to actually re-trigger this in a consistent way, it just seems to happen randomly, although I doubt it's random. Uh, perhaps if you've been able to replicate this, put it in the comments below so we can all learn from it. However, what's happening is, every once in a while I go to record a track after I've got some of the session instruments in play. So right now I've got um, two drummers, one of them is just muted, a bass player, and then two keys. Uh, and this happened on a live stream last night, so I have video evidence of it, but I still couldn't recreate it. Um, I went, I made all those things, and then I went to play another part, and I was getting like half of a second delay uh, or latency when I was playing that MIDI input. Now, I had done things like take off the Chroma Glow plugins, which seemed to take a lot of juice. Um, and now I've got one, two, three of them loaded on this project, and I'm having no issues whatsoever. Um, what it seems to be is that something is getting stuck, and I believe it has to do with these plugins that require the silicon chipset. Um, there's something about them that's the system perhaps is causing uh, some sort of delay with. Um, and it was very, very strange in the sense that uh, I could play a normal instrument track and have a long delay, but play one of the session instruments and it wouldn't have any delay. I could put it in low latency mode and it would fix the delay, but when I recorded and then turned it off, everything was shifted. And so certainly there's a, a bigger bug here that I'm trying to sort out, but I found a few solutions and I wanted to share these solutions with you so that if you're running into this, that it could help. One of them is to freeze the tracks. Now freezing tracks, you if you don't have it as a default turned on, you might have to go into your track header and turn on the freeze option. But it looks like this little snowflake and it helps to set the end of your project near the end of the song so it doesn't have to take extra time you select the snowflake and push play and it will freeze those into an audio file. It'll unload the plugins, it'll keep them there, but it'll unload them and it'll load everything out of the memory and just essentially turn it into an audio file behind the scenes. So I'm gonna push play and let this freeze it real quick. Uh, for these, well, five tracks, one of them's muted though. Um, it's going to take 30 seconds with my computer. Uh, it doesn't take too long. Uh, once it's done, I'll push play. You'll see that everything's gonna play just as it would have without being frozen. This seems to fix the issue in the short term. Meaning if there's a delay on one of the inputs that's not one of these instruments, freezing everything else allows me then to record the MIDI in without any sort of latency issues. Right? Um, there are a couple things about the freezing thing which make a difference. One of them, and let's go over here to our properties inspector, you'll see there's a freeze mode option and we can do just the source and leave all the effects unfrozen or we can do it pre-fader and it does everything up until the fader section of your channel. That means I can still come through and adjust the up and down volume um, now I could do it either way, but I can't change the effects unless I unfreeze it. And then I could unfreeze it, change the effects and refreeze it. This seems to fix it. The other thing that seems to fix it uh, is not quitting logic uh, because I've quit logic and reloaded it and it's still there, um, which means to me that probably is a system wide issue rather than just a logic issue. Uh, but if I turn off the computer and re-turn it on, it seems to go away for a period of time. So I've started, uh, I used to just let my computer sleep, 
but now I turn off my computer at night. Um, I have one of the M1 Mac Studio Ultras. So it's not one of the new M2s or M3s or anything, but it certainly is a powerful computer and it should not have any latency issues with these things. And yet here we are with some of those things. So I'm hoping they're going to sort out some more of the bugs with updates uh, as we get some of these silicon-based effects that require the silicon chip that they'll sort out how they're going to play with all of the computers in the lineup. Uh, because there's no way that I'm going to upgrade this computer anytime soon. Uh, I need it to be able to work. So freezing them, restarting your computer, but don't just like try to deal with the latency. It's so big that it makes it almost impossible to play and do anything. Here's what that song, you'll, you'll hear it sounds just like what I would expect. I'll unfreeze it and play it again in a second. freeze those and I'll just play it right here before that verse section. It'll take a one, it'll take a moment to reload everything. So you'll see all the processing power there. Let me refreeze that just so you can get a sense of how much that saves. This could actually be a great technique for some of you who have computers with limited power uh, to freeze these instruments so you can continue to build and change and add things on without hitting the ceiling of your processing. So I was using like half of them below 25%, not a ton. Um, I do wish when we froze that we could do it with more than just one thread. But I understand there's architecture issues there and um, clearly a lack of uh, need to solve that issue. Otherwise they probably could. Um, let's play that from the same place. Right down there, hardly any usage at all. It's just like reading audio files from your disk at this point. Don't forget, freezing is here. Freezing's been here for a long time, but it's something that is becoming, again, more important, either to solve issues like the one I was facing or to you know mitigate the power required by some of these instruments with a computer that you may have. But this is a great tool and one that you should keep in your toolkit. Okay, hope this helps somebody out there. Hope you're having a great week. More videos coming soon.